Hey guys, and welcome back to Sims 2. We are still with the Hardy family, and it's Saturday, and I was thinking that we could actually spend this this Saturday in game with the family and see what happens. At least we are going to have a birthday today, because Lou here is actually going to grow up to 18. And we also have some new family members, so let's see. They actually adopted two new pets, and first of all here is Lola. And it turns out that she is actually the only, um, the only cat that is available, that was available for adoption in the whole city of Clayfield, and that's kind of surprising. I was actually uh, about, about to send Vince to the pet adoption center. And I was so surprised to see that there wasn't any kitties left. And I'm kind of confused still. I don't know uh, if we actually were able to um, find homes to all those uh, stray kitties. Or if there is some sort of glitch going on. So I still need to uh, figure out what happened. But, you know, oh well, if, if that is the case, if we did actually find uh, homes for all the pets while we were playing with that lot. You know, that's the, that's the goal, of course, to be able to find homes for all the stray pets. So that's good news. But, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully that, that is the case, because I really don't want to deal with any kind of um, weird glitches. But yeah, anyway, uh, and this is the other pet. His name is Pedro, and he is a French bulldog. And, uh, yeah, so he is actually one of the uh, puppies from the Bennett household, the Max Skittles Bennett household that we have already seen. So he now has a good home with this family. Yeah, so I figured that uh, since they do have quite a lot of space in this house, there you go. Uh, yeah, so that they could actually um, maybe get cup, a couple of more pets and, you know, they are small pets. They are fine here. So yeah, anyway, Vince is actually working right now. He is still at his uh, grocery store. And Celeste and the kids are just having having a relaxing Saturday. Oh, that's interesting. Joanna actually is reading the science section. <laughs> that's so cute. Actually, let's let's check out her um her interests. Hmm, she has quite Quite the high interest in par paranormal. Hmm. That's interesting. And yeah, but by the way, both of the kids actually have very high interest in pets, in animals. So they both were so happy to, you know, get some new pets, some more pets. I sh I should say. And I believe Clark here actually, yeah, <laughs> he actually um, already fought with Pedro. So you know, cats and dogs, cats and dogs. Sometimes that is that is just not going to work too well. Okay, go use the party girl. And uh, let's see, you could actually go go there too. Where is Celeste? Oh, she's reading. She's, uh, she's reading on her <laughs> daughter's bed. So that's cute.
So yeah, Louis is about to be 18. And we are actually, when he is growing, growing up... Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Oh, oh wait, nothing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, I was so confused. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we are actually going to roll his uh, traits on camera too. So his current current traits are coward, lucky and rebellious. And I actually already know what his um his aspiration is going to be. Oh, they're playing cops and robbers. So yeah, it's definitely a very relaxing Saturday. The kids are playing and Celeste is reading. And Vince is work working very hard. <laughs> I did actually uh, upgrade his little store a little bit, so he's now selling uh, magazines and um, what else did I add? Oh yeah, I did add the photo booth too, so you know all those romance sims with their lovers. <laughs> that means that we are maybe going to have some more um, drama happening. And by the way, sorry guys if my voice sounds still a little weird or uh, lower than usual. I, I for some reason I just can't seem to get rid of this flu voice, which is so annoying. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, you are getting pretty tired. Actually, guys, give me a second. Okay, I just had to check what. I just had to check out what my dog was doing. He was making some weird sounds. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. Hmm. Actually, you could go and serve some lunch. Hmm. You know what? Hamburgers. It's work day. Oh, she can't eat. Hmm. Okay, that works. They are not really that hungry, but 
Oh well. Kids need to eat. Day, a crassin dia, how a pigeono. For some reason, I really like to watch my Sims eat. <laughs> Oh, and she's cleaning up. So cute. Hmm. It's kind of interesting that Joanna is so interested in... Um, it's interesting that it's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, me and my words. Did you see that? Oh goodness, she was staring at the camera. And that is so adorable. I can't stand it. Why are you so cute? Um, yeah, I was talking about the science interests. So, uh, it turns out that science isn't even her one true hobby. And she uh, she still likes to, um, you know, use the telescope and read the science section. So maybe she will grow up to be a scientist one day. That's so cute. And where are you going? Oh, yeah, you're... You are getting so tired. Hmm. Actually, where are you going? Yeah, let's just uh, give him some more energy so that we can actually have his birthday right now. And there we go. And let's see. What are you doing? No, you don't need to dance together. Okay. Blow out candles. And child, stop whining. Come eat your cake. Take a picture. And there we go. All these clothes. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so Lou's aspiration is going to be fortune. And that is because since he was a toddler, he has rolled the ro uh, sorry, fortune asp aspiration related once. Like, you know, upgrading furniture and all that. And yes, since he was a toddler, <laughs> so he's clearly a fortune sim. And I'm just going to leave these turn-ons and whatnot the way that they are. And before you eat your cake, we are going to have a little makeover for him. And actually, I'm going to roll his aspiration right now. I'm not quite sure if you can see this on the screen, but I'm actually using the uh, randomizer pro uh, program. And let's see, where is it? Oh, his, his um, fourth trait is genius. So that's interesting. So let's add it right here. There we go. And I will take a little break and give him his makeover. So we'll be back in just a bit. Okay, so I actually rolled his uh, secondary aspiration, and that is popularity. And you are still whining. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, big ray. Sure bako. Oh yo. Stop whining, child. And where are you running to? <laughs> I guess he really needed to be. He ran straight to the bathroom from work. That was funny. <laughs> All these sims. I love this game so much. Okay, you go to the toilet. And where is... Oh, never mind, she's there. And how are their, the pets doing? Hmm. Yeah, Petra keeps being on the floor, apparently. Hmm. Okay, there you go. And you need something fun to do. Hmm. Play some violin. Okay, or not. Or play with your wife. <laughs> I guess that's fine too. I love this little cow plant. So cute! So cute. You can find the uh, this on uh, Martha Sims, by the way, if you are interested. De dum da dum da dum. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> uh, 
dum da dum da dum. No, 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 bad sim. No, no babies for you. Two is enough. You better not. <sighs> I, I don't even know what to say. So apparently they are going to have more kids. Hmm. So thank you so much, Celeste and Vince. <laughs> I actually do have a limit. I try to limit to two uh, kids per family so that the population doesn't doesn't go too cray cray but yeah what did you do what did you do yeah I guess I'll just send this naughty sims to bed and and yeah next time we will be visiting some other family and See what happens in Clayfield. So, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.